the student. So he is asking us uh, if if he is applying today, when will he get the date of exam? Uh, okay. So the for the USML application, or when you apply for the step one, what happens is that you will have to first, uh, yeah, for, first you will have to do a passport verification for a fresh applicant. You will have to do a passport verification, which is done online. Uh, so you will get uh, an appointment with an online notary, and uh, it, you will get it done in online itself. So that will cost uh, around a hundred, hundred twenty dollars, if I remember it right. I don't remember the exact amount, but somewhere around that range. So after that, you will have to. Uh, so this is a part of applying for the ECFMG. So basically, ECFMG is Education Council for Foreign Medical Graduates. They are the ones which sponsor uh, international medical graduates into this U in the into the US medical system. So you will have to get certificate uh, certified by them before applying for the match. So like uh, the thing is that. Uh, like I said, uh, like when you apply for the USMLE, why are the you will have to apply by the ECFMG. You will get a user ID, you will get a password. After that, once you get in, uh, fill up the application form, and you will have to choose an eligibility period. An eligibility period in the sense like uh, it's always safe to choose an eligibility. Like uh, for example, if you're given a, giving an exam in December, it's better to start application at least in October. Because like when you apply in October, you will have to choose an eligibility period. An eligibility period is actually a three month. Duration in which, like, you can give an exam date within that three months. So you'll have to choose an exam date within that three months. For example, if I'm giving, if I'm filling an application in October, and I'm choosing my eligibility period as uh, November, December, January, it actually comes as set of three months. So you choose an eligibility period, and what it does is that uh, the 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 exam centers are actually outsourced uh, to to an organization to a company known as Prometric. So they are the ones which carry out the step exams. So like uh, you choose the eligibility period from the ECFMG, and you go to the pro like after that you can book an exact appointment date from Prometric website. So you'll have to go to the Prometric website for an exact appointment date. The thing is that uh, like. There is a there is a catch to this because like once you choose eligible eligibility period, you can only extend it once. Like for example, if you like I said, if you applied in October and you gave eligibility period as November, December, January, and uh, you feel that okay you are not ready yet, what you will do is that you will actually uh, you can extend your eligibility period before uh, there is a certain timeline. It's given on the ECFMG website. You can uh, the maximum that you can uh, stretch it is. Uh, January, February, March, like adjacent three months, like November, December, January. If you're not able to give it in this uh, uh, December, like October, yeah, like did I say November, December, January? Yeah. If you're not able to give it in January, you will you can choose the next adjacent three months, adjacent three months as an eligibility bid. It's a one-time extension with a small uh, nominal fee. So the thing is that like even like and in case if you're not a ready by then also, then you will have to start over your application by paying. Uh, the entire thousand two hundred dollars for the exam, because you'll okay. get this eligibility period only after you pay thousand two hundred dollars for the exam fee. Okay. So like it's actually uh, advised to choose an exam date, like because uh, like if you don't choose an exam date, you you, you won't tend to have a uh, pressure to work. Like you will always tend to procrastinate. So it's uh, what if, when you are halfway through the uh, through the uh, preparation phase, it's advisable to choose a date, which will actually uh, what to say. It will uh, it will motivate you to study more. Otherwise, you'll always tend to procrastinate. So it's advisable to pick a date uh, once you are in halfway or quarter of your preparation. Okay. 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 